Good morning. We are here today with Dr. Ambiga Srinivasan to discuss her latest group that seeks to reclaim Malaysia for Malaysians. It's called Negaraku. So I'll get Ambiga to speak about Negaraku. Thank you. Good morning. I think um, uh, Negaraku is coming at a very uh, important time for our country. It is a movement that was started by GBM, actually, Zaid Kamaruddin and, and uh, NGOs around him like Awam. But the whole point about Negaraku is that we want to reclaim our country. I think people have come to a point where they're truly, truly fed up with what's going on. We don't see any leadership. Perhaps we have actually captured the imagination of the people at the right time. Well, one of the criticisms is that it's the same groups that were behind Bersay, the middle class from Kuala Lumpur, they are dissatisfied with what's going on. How can you go beyond that? Well, I've always said uh, you don't look at the people <laughs> who are running the cause. It's not about them. It's about the cause. So the cause here is complete is, is different from Bersay. Bersay is focused on elections. The people who are important are the rakyat on the ground. If they believe in our cause, then we want them to come on board. To resist those who seem to be setting the agenda for the country, an agenda of racism and extremism. So that is our aim, actually. Okay. It's a very interesting cause. Uh, but you get a lot of people supporting this cause only in the peninsula. Any debate about race and religion in this country is always very peninsula-centric. We seem to forget we have our brothers and sisters in Sabah and Sarawak. How are you going to bring them in, in with Nagaraku? Okay. Uh, well, if you look at our basic documents, the three documents that form the basis of Nagaraku is, of course, the Federal Constitution, the Malaysia Agreement, and the Rukun Negara. And in fact, the third patron is uh, Tan Sri Simon Sipaun. We are going the length and breadth of the country as far as we're concerned. This movement involves everyone and all, all their rights, all the things that they, they uh, hold dear. If you notice how respectful the language in the Federal Constitution is, in the Malaysia Agreement, in the Rukun Negara, the way our interaction is supposed to be uh, is set out there and it's done in such a noble and dignified manner. I don't understand how people can come out there now and mar those precious documents in the language that they speak and I think we need to stop them and say sorry we're going back to the basics which is these three agreements. Mm -hmm. You think that uh, Malaysian politicians are in their business just to keep power, to keep a job for themselves rather than interested in leading the country? Well, you know the difference between a politician and a statesman, I'm sure. A politician thinks of the next election, statesman, a statesman thinks of the next generation. Our politicians are thinking of the next elections. For goodness sakes, they haven't come off election mode. The squabbling that happened before the elections is carrying on. But really what we want is someone to run this country and to give us direction to, to show leadership, to, to show statesmanship. And to me, it's lacking. So, so you have Nagaraku uh, because the people are fed up, they want to reclaim it because there's a complete lack of leadership on all sides. Yes, no one else is setting the agenda. You have these extremists setting the agenda. So now we want to set the agenda for this country. We want to bring it back to what it was. How? We realize that the biggest challenge is going to be reaching out. Uh, we know that a lot of people have actually um, have access to mainstream media only, uh, which is why that is so controlled and manipulated, it's very obvious. So we need to get the proper information out there. This is not just going to be about urban, uh, your uh, point earlier. It is and it cannot be. It has to be about all Malaysians. It has to be completely inclusive. So the top on our agenda is communication, is communicating with the rakyat. Mm -hmm. 51 years after Malaysia was formed, 43 years after Rukun Negara, you think Malaysia has lost its way? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I've thought that for a long time. I, I've been quite open about how I feel about that. Again, the reason is because no one's really thinking about the nation and its people. I think those who come out and attack particular groups forget, actually, you're talking about your fellow citizens. You've no right to talk about them that way, number one. Number two, every single one of us, let's break it down. We all have families, we all have parents, we all have children. Do we or do we not have the right to ensure that my children get the best education, are treated fairly and justly? Of course you do. If our federal constitution cannot ensure that, right, then there's something very, very wrong. And the federal constitution does. So then if it's not happening, whose fault is it? Person in charge, the party in charge. It is their fault.
everyone's good at blaming everyone else. This is including people in charge. And I'm saying, how can you do that when actually you're in charge? You need to account to us as to why the country is in the state that it is. No one has accounted to us. So it's also about uh, calling people to account. Okay, talking about accounting and, and uh, you know, how, how will you know when uh, Nagaku is successful? Uh, in a year's time, what, what is, what's your benchmark, what's your milestone to know whether you want to continue pursuing this cause, go something a bit more narrow? Uh, this is a very wide cause, you know? To me, actually, there's no choice but for this movement to succeed. And I think there are enough people on board. Uh, people are already SMSing me, how do I become a member of the movement? I think what we need to do is keep the momentum up and we cannot lose the momentum. So I, I don't want to talk about failure right now. I think we need to make this work. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Ambiga. Thanks, Thanks for coming today. Yeah, right. sure. Thanks. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. A chat with Ambiga Srinivasan, patron of Nagaraku. Thank you very much and have a good day.